It's raining men. Hallelujah. Whether you like it or not, that's the forecast for this scepter dial for the next 75 years or so. As Britain mourns Queen Elizabeth II and ushers in the era of King Charles III, a relatively overlooked fact is that, barring accident or revolution, the United Kingdom is said to have a man rather than a woman on the throne deep into the 21st century, perhaps even into the 22nd. It's a switch at the top whose effect could go beyond the novel sight of the royal five o'clock shadow. Britons now lamenting the loss of a woman many describe as the nation's grandmother may find themselves adjusting their expectations of how their monarch ought to behave or modifying their own ideas of gender roles. Elizabeth, or as Charles calls her, Darling Mama, ruled Britannia for a record-shattering 70 years, longer than any of her predecessors and, in all probability, any of her successors. Most people in this country have known no other sovereign, nor uttered anything besides God save the Queen during ceremonial toasts and renditions of the national anthem, nor seen anyone else's portrait on stamps and currency. But now they have Charles, and after him the next two heirs to the throne are also male, his elder son, William, and William's eldest child, George. If they keep their given names as their regnal names, the younger two will eventually become William V and George VII. Unless something dramatic happens, such as someone abdicates, which last occurred in 1936, or something tragic happens, we are going to have a series of kings for the coming decades, said historian Catherine Pepinster, the author of a recent book on the monarchy. In fact, if nine-year-old George lives as long as his illustrious great-grandmother, who died at 96, Britain will have a king until 2109, and beyond, if his own firstborn is a boy. Charles, 73, became Britain's oldest ever new monarch after serving the longest apprenticeship in history. He conceivably has a couple of decades ahead of him as king, judging by the longevity of his mum and his granny, Elizabeth the Queen Mother, who lived to be 101. For obvious reasons, Charles can't project the feminine glamour that many associated with Elizabeth, particularly during the early years of her reign, 